Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. This is your weekly general read for the week of March 11th through the 17th for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay? Um, please don't forget to check the description box. There's all kinds of stuff I've been linking for you guys, okay? Take a look at it. Um, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm just going to move forward. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful you guys are here. You're my water babies. I'm a water baby. I'm water and earth. Strong water and earth. Double cancer, double Virgo. So, um, thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for you. Please hit the like button if it resonates. Please um, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the bell. Read the description box about the contest. And uh, let's get cracking. I've done uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this is going to be Past, Present, Future. And I drew two oracle cards. A romance one. Because, you know, spirit always brings the romance in, whether we want it or not, especially under this new moon energy. But it is a general read, so hopefully there will be guidance in other areas of your life as well. Um, I am using the Connolly. No, I'm not. I can't tell you at the moment. Yeah, I can. It's uh, Tarochi Universal Tarot is what I used for the past, present, future. I've got the Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue, and then I have um, an Oracle card. That I should know by heart. And can't remember. <laughs> but anyhow, I've used them before, so check some old videos if you're really interested in them. Or message me and I'll, I'll find the box and tell you later. Okay, so, and then I've got the Witch's Tarot for Clarifiers. Alright, so we're going to start with Cancer. We're going to move these ones out of the way. Oops. Cancer, past, present, future. Okay, so in the past, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, this is um, this is a card of clinginess or or stinginess, holding on to something very valuable to you. Okay, you're guarding your heart. You got one over your head because it's on your mind. It's like you're thinking about it. You're guarding your heart. You're firmly, your feet are firmly planted and rooted. This could have to do with finances. It could have to do with relationships. Um, I'm going to draw some clarifiers on it because it really could pertain to just about anything. And then in the present, we have the Queen of Cups, okay? Queen of Cups is very intuitive, very nurturing, very loving, very open-hearted. Heart chakra, wide open. She kind of uh, oozes love and nurturing over the people in her life. Sometimes even strangers. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She is extremely sensitive. Um, and very loving. Just very loving. Which is a good energy. All right, and it's the Cancer card. Jeez, duh. <laughs> I told you, duh. All right, so you're showing up in your own reading, Cancer. That's beautiful, okay? Then in the near future, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and we will get clarifiers on that as well. Okay, so Spirit, can you tell me why is the Four of Pentacles in the recent past for the feminine, or <laughs> for the feminine, for the cancer. For cancer, it's a general read. So give us general information, spirit, on what's going on for the cancers for the week of March 11th through the 17th. Oh, wow. Okay, so we had some turners. Oh my goodness. All right, clarifying the Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you guys, it always ends up being romance. 
It's a general read, but we're going to look at it, okay? Because we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is the near past. There was worry and stress. Big time worry and stress. But you're coming out of that. That's why you were clinging. That's why you were being clingy. Perhaps there wasn't enough money, or perhaps it's a relationship, which is what I'm feeling with these other cards. Take it as it resonates with you, okay? Because this is being stressed and worried and clingy in the near past. And then what were you being clingy about? What were you worrying about? What was stressing you? And it's how to manifest, because you've got the magician, how to manifest a stable relationship, family life, home life. This is a reunion for those of you who are single. And if this is a romantic spread for you, which it could be, you're going to have to take it as it resonates because it is a general read. But the Four of Wands is my 1111 card, and it shows up for the Twin Flame journey. So if you're on that journey, or even just a, any kind of soulmate journey, and you know it, you'll know. Okay, but it's all about this Knight of Wands, okay? It's wanting to move forward, passionately move forward toward a happy, stable foundation, union, happy home life, and the um, Manifestor card. So, you were holding tight, stressed over, could be money, could be finances, could be family, could be a lover. But you've been working really hard as the magician. You've got all the tools that you need to manifest this stable, happy home life, this reunion, and then move forward with an offer or, or maybe hoping to receive an offer. But all of this energy is surrounding this Four of Pentacles. Okay? So this tells a story, guys. It's worry and stress and clinginess. Because you're trying to manifest a happy new beginning that's stable, found, has a stable foundation for, for, has a stable foundation, okay? And the, the uh, page of wands, it's, it's a small offer. It's a small new beginning, but it's very passionate. Okay, so let's get a clarifier on this Queen of Cups. Clarifier on the Queen of Cups, please, for my Cancers. I really don't need a clarifier because it's just you showing up. But I want to know what's going on. Give us some more storyline, Spirit, about the present moment for Cancer. Give us a storyline for the present moment for the week of March 11th through the 17th. What is the general read for Cancer? Why is the Queen of Cups here? What story does it tell? Okay, three shuffles and a cut. One more shuffle. Give us a storyline for our Cancer for the week of March 11th through the 18th. Okay, so we've got, ooh, Judgment in Reverse. Seven of Cups. And the moon card. I don't know why I'm, well, I got four here. I'm going to draw one more. I'm going to try and keep it even. There you go. There's that page of wands. Brought you this big wand. Okay. Now it's left you a little confused. So here you are, Cancer, showing up in your own reading. There's your energy. Okay. Judgment is in reverse. So judgment has either been rendered or it's still hanging in the balance. I feel like it's hanging in the balance because judgment hasn't happened. Why? Because you're confused and you have choices. Choices. I like choices. Seven of Cups could pertain to confusion. But in this deck, look at it. The wizard's like, mm, I think I'll take that one. So I think it's choices. It's being, uh, it's having more than one choice. This is having a handful of choices. Then we have the moon card, which is Pisces. 
Scorpio or Cancer. For me as a reader, it could be any of the water signs. Usually Cancer and Pisces, but it can be Scorpio as well. So here you've showed up in your reading, Cancer, twice now. The moon is also all about that energy that we've been under. We are under a new moon energy and a waxing moon. And then we are going to have the full moon on the spring equinox, March 20th. So this could literally be moon energy telling you that during that moon energy is when you're going to get this new beginning, this passionate new wand that possibly could be part of what you're manifesting with the magician, the four of wands, and then the page of wands bringing you the ace of wands. That's beautiful energy, Cancer. Very beautiful. Okay, so looks like things are coming your way during this moon energy. Make sure you do your moon manifestations. If you don't know how to do that, you set your intentions, you write it down, you write down what you want to release and let go of, and you burn it, send it off to spirit with a blessing. And the things you're trying to draw in, you write down and you leave on your manifestation table. Okay? We've had so many moons lately, <laughs> so many different moon energies. It's crazy. My table's going to be full of moon manifestations. Okay, so good stuff coming, guys. You got your Ace of Wands. This is really good, but justice hasn't happened. Um, I'm hearing there still needs to be some balance in this situation, whatever's on your heart and mind. Okay, let's do... Oh, I want to put intention. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for the week of March 11th through the 17th for my Cancers. Can you clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for my Cancers? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One. Ooh, now we got it in the upright. Two, three, four. All right, so I'm getting confusion here. I feel like um, in the future, near future, there's going to be a little confusion for you. Um, it's almost like you know that the Ten of Pentacles is coming for you, but it hasn't gotten there yet because you've got the Ten of Pentacles in the upright clarifying the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a waiting period. I feel like you're going to flip this upside right. Through equal reciprocity, through equal give and take, you've got the Six of Pentacles here. This is uh, sharing. It's balance back here. You had the Justice card in reverse, so balance hadn't been established. But here you're, you're finding it. You're finding your balance. In what regards the Two of Cups, which is in reverse in the near future. So it still hasn't, whatever you're trying to manifest, if it's a partnership, could be business, could be family, could be romance. But if you're trying to manifest this uh, Two of Cups, it's it's not quite there yet. And for some of you, it looks like you're working on your money. I'm working on my money so that I can have my love, is what I'm hearing. I'm working on my money and my security and my financial stability so that I can, and I'm balancing my bank book, <laughs> So that I can be ready for a new partnership. Or it could be you're going into partnership, whether it's a romantic partnership, a friendship, or a business partnership. But <clears throat> you're preparing for it. It hasn't happened yet. That's why the Two of Cups is in reverse. But here comes the Page of Cups to bring you an offer. So this could be, and I will get another clarifier, please. Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so this is about money and possibly romance, but I'm not sure. Because the Two of Cups, Two of Cups could be, it's partnership. It could be divine partnership too. But that can happen in many ways, guys. It doesn't have to be romantic. But there's going to be an apology or an offer or a contract, a small offer. It's going to leave you feeling a little confused, a little stuck in your thoughts, a little upset with uh, 
which way to go is what I'm hearing. Which way to go. But you're going to work it out because there comes the Knight of Pentacles. This is an energy coming towards you um, that you've been working on, that you've been waiting for, that you've been manifesting. And it is coming. Just not going to get there during this week. This is a manifestation that you're you're bringing into being. It's going to go beyond this week, okay? This is the near future. All right. All right. So, Cancer, it's looking really good. You'll know because you're very intuitive. You'll know exactly what this means for you. All right. So, what is your romance oracle? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So that could possibly be you as well bringing this gesture. I don't feel it though. If anything, this would be you bringing an offer to possibly partner with someone else. Okay, but you got a lot of money going on here, which is, you know, it doesn't have to be money, but it's stability, security. It's something tangible that you can put your hand on, you can bite your teeth into all right, so express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then we got heart chakra. Yeah, see, I tried to do a general read, but sometimes it turns out to be romantic, doesn't it? This is love is the heart of the matter. Love is the heart of this matter. Sorry, guys, but Cancer, you're falling in love, or you've already fallen in love. And this reading is all about you manifesting your way forward into that marriage or that relationship or that twin flame journey soulmate energy okay it's beautiful but there's justice that needs to happen there's choices that need to be made um possibly under the new moon um do your research it could be in the shadows there might be some stuff you need to know before you receive your your ace of wands but this is the heart chakra it says love is the heart of the matter your heart is the center within your physical being Attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So i got to put my clarifiers back in. We're going to move on to Scorpio. If any of my love tribe would like to um, time date these or stamp these for me, I would greatly appreciate it as I am heading out for the weekend. And I'm just trying to get as many reads done as I can before I leave. All right, I want to shuffle my clarifiers. Shuffle my clarifiers. We're moving on to Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. I love you. I'm so grateful that you're here. Grateful, grateful, grateful. Um... Please check out the description box for my contest if you're a new subscriber or if you're a new watcher and you'd like to subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell. Um, I mostly do love reads, but these are general reads for the week. These are the general zodiac reads. They're supposed to be general. <laughs> But people have a lot of love on their minds right now, now don't they? Past, present, future for my Scorpios. Okay, so we have Ten of Swords in reverse. That's good in the near past. So something very painful, very um, cloudy and dark and tumultuous. I mean, it's like a storm. But you're releasing it, and that's beautiful. You're healing from this Ten of Swords. It was the end of a cycle for you. And now the Ten of Swords is in reverse. You're shaking out those, shaking out those swords. Look at this, though, Scorpio. We've got the High Priestess showing up in the present position for you. That is the sign of Pisces. And then we've got in the near future, we've got the Page of Pentacles. He just showed up in the Cancer read, too. Hmm, in the same place. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, go back and read or watch Cancers. If you're a cross watcher, let's get some clarifiers, Spirit, on this Ten of Swords in reverse. 
three shuffles and a cut and a draw. Three, I'm going to draw three cards, Spirit. Three clarifiers for the Ten of Swords in reverse. One, two, <laughs> three. Okay, we've got oh nine of wands in reverse. Two, ooh, eight of wands in reverse, and the six of swords in reverse. Okay, so you moved away from something because you got communication. Oh, so I don't know. Hold on. Spirit, I need one more. Yeah. All right. So in the past, things were just really shitty for you, Scorpio. There was something you needed to move away from. There was information you needed to gain. All of these cards in the reverse. Nine of card. Nine of so. Ugh. Nine of one. Stand your ground. It's like you gave up. Whatever this was, you gave up on it. There was no communication and no forward movement, and it's left you all up in your head, stressed and worried about it. All right, let's get a clarifier for the High Priestess in the present situation for Scorpio Spirit. Why is the High Priestess here for Scorpio? In the upright current situation from March 11th through the 17th. Can you give us three clarifiers, please? One, two, three. We got one, two, and three. Okay, so Scorpio... All right, possibly you're not talking to this person or this situation, or you're just, you're, you're using your intuition. There's something about it. There's just something about it that you know there's something going on besides what's obvious. And uh, it's, there's more balance that needs to be had within you, okay? The High Priestess is bringing you energy of equilibrium and balance, but you have to, you have to listen to your insight. Page of Swords in reverse. So whatever clarity you were hoping for, you didn't get. And whoever this person represents in your reading, they've been watching you. Maybe your social media. But they've kept an eye on you. They know what's going on with you. Perhaps you kept an eye on them. Could be vice versa for cross watchers. But then you got the four of pentacles. It's like you're guarded. You are so guarded against this situation. You're like, nope, I'm guarding my heart. I'm guarding my genitals. And I'm standing or sitting firmly rooted, not going anywhere at the moment. Wow. Let's get a clarifier for this knight of pentacles. In the near future position, how is this going to play out for Scorpio during the week of the 11th through the 17th? How will this play out for Scorpio between the 11th and the 17th of March? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why? Is that the Knight? Yeah. Why is this pentacles here? One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Oh, we got the Empress in reverse. The Fool's card in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. Guys, seriously. All right, I'm going to ask to... Oh, I need more clarification on this spirit. We need some upright movement happening in Scorpio. So Scorpio, the Empress is a feminine energy, could be divine feminine energy. Okay, but it's all about trust. It's about being in the perfect energy, feminine energy. It's like um, empowerment. It's uh, fertility. It's the time is right. There's so much that could be depicted in that Empress card. Okay, this is being, feeling powerful, feeling independent, feeling luscious, feeling gorgeous. I mean, it's just not good in the reverse. It's like feeling unworthy. It's feeling unprepared. It's feeling unfertile. It's all those 
good yummy things in reverse. Why? Because you're waiting for a new beginning and it's just not happening. It's taking, okay, spirit is telling me, I used to look at reversals as slow moving energy and spirit says this is the case just here in the past, not or in the near future, not in the past. That was not slow moving energy, that was stagnation. Okay, this is slow moving energy. So the Empress will come into her power eventually. And the new beginning can manifest. You've you've got the, the the wherewithal to do it, Spirit's saying. But there's a third party situation and there's no reunion happening in this week, is what I'm hearing. There's not gonna be a celebration on this topic. Whatever's on your heart and mind. Scorpio, it will not be resolved this week. This week is when it looks like you're resentful. It looks like you're stressed, guarded, unhappy. That's what it looks like. Okay, Spirit, can I get one more clarifier? I'm just going to let them fall out. Can I get a clarifier for the near future for Scorpio, please? Can I get a clarifier? For the near future, for Scorpio, please. Clarifier, for the near future, for Scorpio, please. Clarifier, for the near future, thank you. Yep, clarity's going to come. Victory, you're going to get it, Scorpio. It's just taking its sweet-ass time. Not going to happen this week, unfortunately. But whatever it is you're hoping to be cleared up, to have information about, to get clarity and forward movement and honesty and communication and victory. It's all there for you. It's just not coming yet. Be patient, my friends, okay? Patience. No matter what situation this plays out in your life, could be romantic, could be business, could be family, friends, okay? However this plays out for you, you're unhappy, resentful, <laughs> clingy, and very stressed, because you need clarity. But it is on the horizon. Okay. Let's get you a romance card. It says keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So if you meet somebody new. And they're different than you are. Don't automatically judge them. Get to know them. Take your time. And it is a soulmate. Okay. It is a soulmate. Soulmates can come in any form, could be your children, could be your friends, could be your family, could be a romantic interest, could be a job partnership. Um, soulmates show up, could be your dog, your cat, your bird, your your whatever brings you um, soulmate energy, which can come in any form. It's the ones you know are supposed to be there. Okay, and what is your outcome family? See, I was feeling kind of family with this too. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and in your heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Okay, Scorpio, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful that you're here. Please hit like share, subscribe, any of the things that your heart is called to do. If you'd like to donate to my channel, there's a link below. Um, magic numbers help breed more money. So if you want to donate a dollar eleven or two twenty two or three thirty three, whatever your spirit guides and your angels tell you is an appropriate donation. If you can't donate, that's fine. I understand. I have a hard time in that area sometimes too. But you know, we donate through an exchange of energy. So if you could hit the like button for me, send a prayer for me and my family and my new beginning. Anything you can do would help. I'm so grateful. We are moving on now to uh, Pisces. Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Uh, my love tribe, if you could time stamp this for me, I would greatly appreciate it. As I am going to be out of town until Monday. I'm doing this one in, in advance. Okay, let's shuffle our clarifiers. For Pisces, Spirit, shuffling clarifiers. Stack the deck for my Pisces. 
Pisces energy for the 11th through the 17th of March clarifiers. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, whoa, we got some poppers for you. We got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, and the Death card and Justice and the Page of Swords. Wow. This is no longer waiting. This is death and transformation. This is a complete and utter transformation in your life. Letting go of something so that something new can come in. Judgment is all about balance and it's calling up karmic judgment. Wow. And then the Page of Swords. Yeah, this is truth and clarity. This is also keeping an eye on the situation. I'm going to put these back in the deck for you. Okay, but that was your poppers, guys. Could be Pisces is going through a death and transformation. Let's take a look. This feels karmic, guys. It feels karmic. Let's see where it shows up in your romance or in your home life or in your relationship or uh, business, financial. Let's see. I'm going to cut those again. Holy shit. Yeah, the world card and the two of cups. This is karmic, guys. It's karmic. I'm going to shuffle, cut these. I just want them all mixed up. Now we got the ten of cups. The Hangman, the King of Cups in Reverse. This is just crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You're going to have to rewind that and watch it. I don't have time to go into all that right now. Spirit's giving you many messages. Past, present, future. All right. In the past, we have the Eight of Swords in the Upright. In the present, we have Justice again. In the future, we have the Hierophant. Whoa! Deep, guys. Deep. All right. Let's get a clarifier on this Eight of Swords. One already fell out. Clarifier on the Eight of Swords in the near past for my Pisces. Clarifier for the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in the upright for my Pisces. Week of the 11th of March through the 17th. Thank you, Spirit. We are grateful. All right. Oh, we got Temperance. The Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Swords again. Holy shit. Pisces, what are you doing? All right. So you got Justice that came out twice. Once in the pre-shuffle and once in the spread. Okay. And then you've got the Eight of Swords twice. You've got the Eight of Swords in the upright and the near past. And you got the Eight of Swords clarifying the Eight of Swords in the past. That is a definite stuck in your thoughts, stuck in your mind, stuck in a situation that you can't think your way out of. You know what Spirit's telling me? You don't think your way out of this situation. You feel your way out of it. Stop thinking about it and trust your heart. Why? Because equal reciprocity and and uh, balance. I mean, you had the justice twice and the six of pentacles. That's all about balancing. That could also be Libra season, which is coming up. It's coming up next, next month. When is Libra season? What am I thinking? Libra, Libra. There's something going on with the Libra, like the moon or Chiron or something. I don't know. Somebody look it up for me. But I'm hearing in my head that Spirit's saying there's something going into Libra soon. Not, like it's not Libra season, but it's something, I don't know if it's the moon, Mercury, something, Venus, something's going into Libra soon. Check that out for me and post it if you can. Equal reciprocity. Then you've got temperance, which is also balanced. This is the divine. This is karmic. You've got justice, you've got the hierophant, and you've got temperance this is definitely a karmic situation that you're trying to balance out or get justice in but you're trying to do it from a thinking standpoint and you can't think your way out of this okay this is going to have to be done from the heart chakra 
because this is all about karmic balance. This is about equal give and take, reciprocity, stability, and balance. Okay? And there's this Queen of Swords showing up in the past for you, too. This could be your energy. You might have some uh, air in your chart. But I kind of feel like somebody cut you off. I don't feel like you cut them off. I feel like somebody cut you off. And it's left you feeling very stressed and overthinking it. But temperance is here. That's the angel, Archangel Michael. And he is tempering the situation. Could be divine masculine and feminine because you do have the Hierophant card here. As above, so below. I'm going to move on. How do we clarify Libra? Or I'm sorry, Justice. In the upright for Pisces spirits telling me yeah I knew it so you got the chariot card which is cancer you've got the four swords in reverse so you've been praying and healing on this situation and you're coming out of that you're moving see look you got the chariot fast forward movement spiritual strength this is uh, gaining um, the upper hand and uh, victory, moving forward, okay? You prayed on this. You've uh, healed from this. You contemplated this. And what is this? Huh? You've got moving. You've got the six of swords moving away from a situation. It's in reverse, so it's either already happened or um, it's slow coming. You haven't been able to move forward yet. What is it you want to move forward to? Or I'm sorry, what is it you're doing while you're moving forward? Damn, I got a lot of shit going on here, guys. Yeah, this feels like a twin flame journey for Pisces. We've got... We've got... The Emperor and the Hierophant. Aries energy. We've got the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Could be third-party situation. We got the Hermit in reverse, which means that you have been wish or uh, going within, going on the long soul's journey to find your wish fulfillment regarding possibly a Cancer or an Aries or a Taurus or a Libra. Got a lot going on here, guys. And it's the Four of Wands, which is my 1111 card. That's Twin Flame energy. So there's a lot going on with you, Pisces. You're overthinking it. Somebody's left you feeling a little bit cut off. You haven't had justice or given justice or received justice or balance. However, there is a victory card. Okay? So balance is coming. And then you've got the Four of Swords, Six of Swords in reverse. That's slow-moving energy. The Hermit's in reverse. There's just a lot. This is all karmic, okay? You're purging karmic. You're learning new things. You're becoming enlightened. Could have to do with a Cancer, a Libra, a Taurus, or an air sign, Aries. Because we've got... There's, it could be anybody, all right? But you know, Spirit's telling me, you know, Pisces, exactly what this means. And it feels like a relationship, a karmic relationship. The Emperor is Divine Masculine, okay? There's heartbreak, but there's also union. I don't feel like union's happening. I feel like it's telling you a story about what this is all about, okay? Let's get a clarifier for my... Hierophant. Thank you, Spirit. Do I need another one? I'll take those. Yep, King of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so this is feeling stuck in the near future, okay? As above, so below. This could have to do with a soul's contract because this feels very karmic. We've got the tower on the bottom. And the Two of Cups. And the Hierophant. Or the High Priest. The Hierophant again. And the World card. So yeah, this is very karmic. Pisces, I really can't give you a lot of advice on this. Because when it's karmic, it's divinely guided. All I can do is tell you that it is happening. 
It's definitely happening. You need to ground and center and you need to purge. You need to clear. You need to heal old wounds. Because temperance is here. And temperance is all about balance. This is the divine masculine and feminine. You've got all the cards except for the empress, which hasn't shown up yet. So perhaps the empress is what you're trying to manifest, huh? Because you got the emperor, the 11-11, the temperance, the ten of pentacles, the eight of pentacles in reverse. This is definitely divine masculine energy for me for now. You got the Hierophant twice. You got the Hierophant clarifying the Hierophant, which is the High Priest. That's as above, so below. This is a karmic balancing. You haven't been working on this. You've been, you've been stuck in that Hermit mode. That's why the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. And I believe because the Ten of Pentacles is here, this is about a divorce or a separation or a soul's contract with a Divine Feminine. This is definitely karmic. You've got the world card, you've got the two of cups, and you've got a tower moment. So Pisces, this is all about healing, literally. This is all about healing and fast forward movement. But you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything until you purge and you get out of your head, move into your heart chakra, balance your heart. Anything else, Spirit? Is there anything else you want to throw on this before I move on? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. You're very guarded. You're going to have to open up. You're going to have to open up. And you're going to have to trust. And you're going to have to heal. You're going to have to look at all the inner things that are broken within you. Family stuff. Friends stuff. Romance stuff. Anything that is broken within you, you're going to have to go deep. Purge. Heal. That's that tower moment. And I do believe this might be a twin flame journey for you. But if that doesn't resonate then um, Spirit's telling me you already know what this is. It's like you've been getting cards tossed on this for a while, guys. Okay, Pisces, I love you. I can't fix it all in a week, but I'm telling you, this is karmic. You need to clear your karma. Clear your karma. Prepare. Take better care of yourself. And have patience, because this is all divine timing. But you got to heal. You've got to open up and allow to get what you want. All right, so let's get you a Romance Angel card. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This literally feels to me like the, like your heart chakra is completely off balanced and closed off. You need to open up your heart chakra. Uh, love on something, okay? Whether it's a dog, a cat, a friend, a girlfriend, whatever. Put your heart against somebody else's heart. And open that heart chakra. Somebody that you trust. Okay? Literally. Could be a child. Could be a grandchild. It doesn't matter. It has to be someone who loves you. It doesn't have to be the person you're thinking of. But your heart chakra is off balance. And there are YouTube videos that you can watch. And listen to meditations on how to open the heart chakra. Alright. New partner. Bada bing. Here it goes. A chance meeting is no mistake. It's divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the meal, wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life now. You will recognize them by the sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Because it's a soulmate, guys. This is a soulmate coming your way. Look at the Pegasus and the angel. This is a, a meeting of soulmates. All right, Pisces, that's beautiful. You got a lot going on, dude. I'm feeling dude. I don't know why. It could be feminine. Either or, there's a lot going on here. We got the masculine showing up. Feminine's not there, so that's why I feel like this might pertain to the masculines. So if you're a cross watcher and you're, and this is about, you know, perhaps you're masculine as a Pisces or a Cancer. Well, no, you'd be watching it's P Pisces. Anyhow, this is your partner, guys. If you're a cross-watcher, this is your soulmate. If you're not a cross-watcher, if this is you, Pisces, this is a soulmate coming in. And you already know who they are. This is crazy. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I have to go. I love you guys. And I will see you on 
on Monday.